everyone, fellow worker here, coming to you from Ikalui, Nunavut. Today, the Pope is coming to visit us here. Possibly make an apology for Indian residential schools. So I'm headed off there now. I was trying to catch footage of his plane landing. I must have missed it. Today is not about me in any way. As a settler living here on the Nunavut land claim, I am a witness to what is going to happen today. And I'm gonna bring you all along to join me. Welcome to all the new subscribers. And to those of you who are not subscribed yet, please hit that bell for notification. Today is a big day for many people. I am going to keep my opinions to myself because today is not about me in any way. Off we go. Here I am in my neighborhood. You may have seen some of this on my dog walks. So it's about 4.15, he speaks at 5. I'm hoofing it down there. I'm gonna do my best. For you all, my subscribers and my watchers, those who are not subscribed, this is for you, a once in a lifetime experience. It is epic, it is historical. And I'm grateful to be here to witness this point in history. I see people in the streets making their way to the pilgrimage of penitence, the penitential pilgrimage of Pope Francis. So I heard Pope Francis had about a thousand people showing up in his Quebec visit. I think Pope John Paul had, is it 800,000 in Downsview Park in Toronto? So people are talking about that. Some have said it was short notice, but he has a captive audience in Iqaluit. Anybody who is not here because they're on vacation is gonna be super bummed. It was a regular day in my room and a cup of hot black coffee. Sure, I was depressed, but I always am. Some people, not me. Chopper started coming two by two by ten, announcing apocalypse of a different kind. So I ran into the street, ran down the stairs, into the street and Nathan Phillips Square. People, 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 and horses everywhere. The Pope, the Pope, the Pope, the Pope. We're all here to see the Pope, the Pope, the Pope, the Pope, the Pope, the Pope, the Pope. Well, you got your Pope penance buttons, your Pope clothes. You got your Pope binoculars to see him all close. And I cried when I saw the man in white. I cried much surround this delight. I I couldn't breathe anymore. Yes, I cried. Those people were stepping on my feet. Hey, hey, Mr. Holiness, way up there. Now maybe we we'll love you, but we're sadly lacking air. Getting very close. You can see it.
such an honor to be here for this historical occasion as a witness to the potential apology by Pope Francis in Iqaluit, Nunavut, Canada. Lots of orange shirts here in support of supporting people healing from Indian residential schools.
My translation device. Track one is Inuktitut. Channel two is English. Channel three is Espanol. Interesting that there's no French. Rup row. Okay, so Pope Francis is in the building. He's in the school. So in that footage I showed you with the circle behind the performers, that's where he is. He's going to come out with uh, glitter and rainbows and hopefully some dry ice and some dancers. I now see that it's not a circle, they are um, whale ribs. That is the symbol on the stage. 
We are sitting here waiting for the next part of the program. We had some singing, some throat singing. There was an opera singer from Labrador. I believe we are waiting for the elders to arrive in the school bus. So apparently this is the first time a Pope has visited Canada since Pope John Paul, if you remember that, in Toronto. And I believe Pope Francis is one of the only popes, the only pope from Latin America. He's going to be speaking in Spanish today. Ojalá que sí. They're the roadies. Very expensive roadies. So they brought out the poke chair and it looks like it has seal skin on it. It is. Pretty exciting. Pope chair with seal skin to be in line with Inuit culture. Nice touch. Entourage, all right. Because considering one of them could be the future home. Yes, that's right. So that's his homies? That's his homies. That's his peeps. Because isn't that how it goes? It's yes. one, of the, one of those ones that are... Well, there's like a... No, that yeah. would be nepotism. So there's only, that's only like a sample. Yeah. Look, the ones are hovering. Holy crap. Yeah, they are. Are you So are the drones going to shoot us? Or the no, people? Or they're, us? They're, they're no, they're videoing us. Oh, so, so they can get us later. Yeah, okay. Right, see what we're doing. Okay. Thanks for that, Tim.
welcome, Pope Francis. Thank you. Tunga su charity. Ilunga si Tok. Tunga su charity. We welcome everybody. It's a great pleasure to see you, to be with you, and let us enjoy this moment together. A day. But also thrive most importantly. It's you, all of you, here and at home that has helped us get here. The people that weren't part of today that have gone before us are here with us today in our hearts. We continue carry the march. I would like to introduce my family as we journey through together as a family. Queridos amigos, estamos aquí con voluntad de recorrer juntos un camino de sanación y de reconciliación, que con el auxilio del Creador nos ayuda a dar luz sobre lo sucedido y a superar el pasado común. A propósito de vencer la oscuridad, también ahora, como en nuestro encuentro de fines de marzo, ustedes han encendido el culic. Este, además de dar luz durante las largas noches invernales, permitía, difundiendo calor, resistir al rigor del clima. Por tanto, era esencial para vivir. También hoy permanece como un bellísimo símbolo de vida, de un vivir luminoso que no se rinde ante la oscuridad de la noche. Así son ustedes, un testimonio perenne de la vida que no se apaga de una luz que resplandece y que ninguno logra sofocar. Dear friends, 
We are here with a desire to pursue together a journey of healing and reconciliation that with the help of the Creator can help us shed light on what happened and move beyond that dark past. As a way of dispelling the darkness, now too, as in our meeting at the end of March, you have lit the Kulek. Not only did the Kulek give light amid the long winter nights, it also relieved the harshness of the weather by spreading heat. In this way, it was essential for living. Even today, this lamp remains a beautiful symbol of life, of a luminous way of living that does not yield to the darkness of the night. That is what you are. He tried to imagine, after our encounter in Roma, these vast places where people live from times immemorable and that for you would be hostile. You have been able to love them respetarlos, custodiarlos y apreciarlos, transmitiendo valores fundamentales de generación en generación, como el respeto por los ancianos, un genuino sentido de fraternidad y el cuidado del medio ambiente. Hay una hermosa y armónica correspondencia entre ustedes y la tierra que habitan, porque también esta es fuente y es fuerte y resiliente y responde con mucha luz a la oscuridad que la envuelve durante gran parte del año. Pero también esta tierra, como cada persona y cada población, es delicada y necesita ser cuidada, cuidarla, transmitir el cuidado. A esto en particular están llamados los jóvenes, sostenido por el ejemplo de los ancianos. Cuidar la tierra cuidar las personas, yes. cuidar la historia. Yes. I am grateful for this opportunity to be here in Nunavut within Inuit Nunangat from time immemorial and that others would consider inhospitable. You have come to love these places, to respect, cherish and enhance them passing on from generation to generation such basic values as respect for the elderly, genuine fraternity, and care for the environment. There is a beautiful relationship between you and this land you inhabit because it too is strong and resilient and responds with brilliant light to the darkness that enshrouds it for most of the year. Yet this land, like every individual and every people, is also fragile and needs to be cared for. Caring, teaching, and learning how to care. To this task, young people in particular, supported by the example of their elders, have been called care for the earth, care for your people, care for your history. Ilangin no isumagaya o katatong no naksang ng yaksang ani. Kisay ni taman na no nagigasiu piugil lugo pinnagil lugo. Ambaro piu city gan na katat lugo. Kaya man ng yasi kingo basin no kaya man ng tipal na lusiu. Inoto ikbigo sa tiyak tusi. Amaroa bati sini kama tiang tu si, kama na piu yo arongman, nuna sini lu pilu ata kam na gaya si, kama na tau sangi yo asego yo ito, amaro kau me balia lu kau me balia si ulu ni tang niu yumi, akago ilo ani 
Tagana Katahawak in Lugu Tamana Nona Pius Rijanga Takul Lugu Illiciti to Tame to Nikanak to Lune Ikpigi or Terri Inokotisilo Amaro Atoximayasi. Quisiera entonces dirigirme a ti, joven Inuit, futuro de esta tierra y presente de su historia. Quisiera decirte, citando a un gran poeta, lo que has heredado de tus padres, gánatelo para poseerlo. No basta vivir de rentas, es necesario volver a ganarse lo que se ha recibido como don. Por tanto, no temas escuchar una y otra vez los consejos de los más ancianos, abrazar tu historia para escribir páginas nuevas, apasionarte, tomar posición frente a los hechos y a las personas, arriesgarte y para ayudarte a hacer resplandecer la lámpara de tu existencia, también yo quisiera darte como hermano anciano tres consejos. I would like now to address you, Inuit youth, the future of this land and the present of its history. I would like to say to you in the words of a great poet, that which you inherited from your fathers must first be earned before it can become yours. It is not enough to live off the past. It is necessary to earn what was given to you as a gift. Do not be afraid then to continue listening to the counsels of the elderly, to embrace your past in order to write new pages of history, to be passionate, to take a stand before facts and people, to get involved, to help you make the lamp of your lives shine brightly. I too, as an elder brother, would like to offer you three pieces of advice. Inosuktu makuktu inui okati yumarak pasi sibonik sa taman nanuna ammaro hullo me take out of the katak si mayun okati yumabasi chitak tau si mayuming it'll be on TV ata tang ni pitare lautar Pitare to in Narunang in Navio, Ayoner Luti, Pio Narsi Luti Lu, Pijare Hamigavi. I do say a rigavio, Capia Sunga Nare Nare Amaro Tasir Tau Catal Luti in Otohamno Taco Atomniku Yut Ukil Lugi Atomner Tasinik Nutanik Titera Paleriti. Ik pigo su tiarlo si pillo reglo si amaro su rio ni pillo reglo si ni kuvinga katalo si de katao katareti ikayolo si ta koa kaumani inusi sinun sakaya tia kolobi ta naro inuto kaluni pinga suni o kau si sakarevo. Primero de los consejos, camina hacia lo alto. Vives en estas vastas regiones del norte. Que ellas te recuerden tu vocación a tender hacia lo alto, sin dejarse tirar abajo por quien quiere hacerte creer que es mejor pensar solo en ti mismo y usar el tiempo que tienes únicamente para tu diversión y tus intereses. Amigo, no estás hecho para ir tirando, para pasar las jornadas equilibrando deberes y placeres. Estás hecho para volar alto, hacia los deseos más verdaderos y hermosos que tienes en el corazón, hacia Dios para amarlo y hacia el prójimo para servirlo. No pienses que los grandes sueños de la vida sean cielos inalcanzables. No, estás hecho para levantar el vuelo, para abrazar la valentía de la verdad y promover la belleza de la justicia, para elevar tu temple moral, ser compasivo, servir a los demás y construir relaciones, para sembrar paz y cuidado donde te encuentres, para encender el entusiasmo de los que te rodean, para ir más allá 
no para igualarlo todo. The first piece of advice is keep walking upwards. You live in these vast regions of the north. May they remind you of your vocation to strive ever higher without letting yourself get dragged down by those who would have you believe that it is better to think only of yourself and to use your time solely for your leisure and your interests. Friends, you were not made to get by, to spend your days balancing duties and pleasures, but you were made to soar upwards towards the most genuine, true, and beautiful desires that you cherish in your hearts and to serve your neighbor. Don't think that life's great dreams are as unattainable as the sky above. No, you were made to fly, to embrace the courage of truth and the beauty of justice to elevate your moral, to be compassionate, to serve others, and to build relationships, to sow seeds of peace and loving care wherever you are, to ignite the enthusiasm of, all, of those all around you, to keep pressing forward and not to flat everything out. <laughs> Pawang <laughs> Kisani <laughs> Tamakoi ino sang me sinaktu mani pitu piyum piyak sang nigiang in nek isumatu nang in lucy. So lo ino saktu dito kilang me kisani ikpigusu tea lucy as is in nek piyit sang lucy ino kataka tea lucy inu yupiri marutamana amakanga sui lucy kapir sui tu lucy nagling niko lucy amarutamana kamagiang lugo. Sibu mo ako tigitia kana ko lugo sibu na sa sibu ni si madera si tita ko yapto. Pero me podrían decir vivir así es más arduo que volar, cierto, no es fácil, porque siempre estás echando esa fuerza de gravedad espiritual que empuja para tirarnos abajo, para paralizar los deseos, para debilitar la alegría. Entonces, piensa en la golondría de la que nosotros llamamos charral. Esa no deja que los vientos contrarios o los cambios de temperatura le impidan ir de un lado a otro de la tierra. A veces elige caminos que no son directos, acepta desviaciones, se adapta a ciertos vientos, pero siempre mantiene la meta, siempre va a su destino. Encontrará gente que intentará borrar tus sueños, que te dirá que te conformes con poco, que luches solo por lo que te conviene. Entonces te preguntarás, ¿por qué tengo que esforzarme por algo en lo que los demás no creen? Y además, ¿cómo puedo volar en un mundo que parece que cae cada vez más bajo, en medio de escándalos, guerras, engaños, injusticias, destrucción del ambiente, indiferencia hacia lo más débil? decepciones por parte de los que tendrían que dar el ejemplo ante esta pregunta ¿cuál es la respuesta? But you might say to live like that is harder than flying certainly it is not easy because there is a kind of hidden force of spiritual gravity that tries to drag us down paralyze our desires and lessen our joy 
you thinking of the Arctic swallow that in Spanish we call a charan. It does not let headwinds or sudden changes in temperature stop it from flying from one end of the earth to the other. At times, it chooses alternate routes, accepts detours, adapts to certain winds, but it always has a clear goal and it always arrives at, at its destination. You will meet people who will try to erase your dreams, who will tell you to settle for less, to fight only for what is in your interest. Then you will have to ask yourself, why do I need to go out of my way for what other people do not believe in? Or again, how can I soar in a world that seems constantly to be dragged down by scandals, wars, fraud, injustice, environmental destruction, indifference towards those in need, disillusionment from those who should be giving an example? Faced with these questions, what is the answer? I hope he gives us the answer. Spanish <laughs> Ambaru iling nun aperitu na kaputi kanoy mat teman na ita kaya kapunga upperus upperus upto kaptin nago uvaroni kanoy arugli teman pa katao yun nagama nuna ako ame teman ng ane makatag sakto na sa katag tilo tama kuno ng piyung itunod katag tiri yunod sukuk tiri yunod lu ambaru abatitini Piu yunel ti te va suga na yunik tamakua tamajaru ti lugi kanoi te mili udu ti sakta katiapa tamakua apel ko ti se sakka katda ti lugi kanong likiu yau yunapa. Kisia decirte a ti joven, a ti hermano y hermana joven. Tú eres la respuesta, tu hermano, tu hermana, no solo porque si te rindes ya perdiste de antemano, sino porque el futuro está en tus manos, está en tus manos la comunidad que te ha generado, el ambiente en el que vives, la esperanza de tus coetáneos, de los que aún sin pedírtelo esperan de ti el bien original e irrepetible que puedes introducir en la historia. Porque cada uno de nosotros es único. El mundo que habitas es la riqueza que has heredado. Ámalo como te ha amado quien te ha dado la vida y las alegrías más grandes. Como te ama Dios, que por ti ha creado todo lo bello que existe y no deja de confiar en ti, ni siquiera por un bebísimo instante. Él cree en tus talentos. Cada vez que lo busques comprenderás cómo el camino que te llama a recorrer tiende siempre hacia lo alto. Lo advertirás cuando rezando mires el cielo y sobre todo cuando alces la mirada al crucificado. Entenderás que Jesús desde la cruz no te señala con el dedo, sino que te abraza, te anima, porque cree en ti, aunque tú mismo has dejado de creer en ti. 
Entonces no pierdas nunca la esperanza. Lucha, dalo todo y no te arrepentirás. Sigue adelante el camino, un paso tras otro hacia lo mejor. Instala el navegador de tu existencia hacia una meta grande, hacia lo alto. Here is what I would tell you, young people. You are the answer. Hacer equipo. Los jóvenes hacen grandes cosas juntos, no solo. Porque ustedes jóvenes son como las estrellas del cielo, que aquí brillan de manera espléndida. Su belleza nace del conjunto de las constelaciones que forman, iluminan y orientan las noches del mundo. También ustedes, llamados a las alturas del cielo y a resplandecer en la tierra, están hechos para brillar juntos. Es necesario permitir a los jóvenes que formen grupos, que estén en movimiento. No pueden pasar las jornadas aislados, rehenes de un teléfono. Los grandes glaciares de estas tierras me hacen pensar en el deporte nacional del Canadá, el hockey sobre hielo. ¿Cómo es posible que Canadá conquiste todas las medallas olímpicas? ¿Cómo hicieron Saga Nuls o Marie-Philippe Poulin para marcar todos esos goles? El hockey conjuga bien disciplina y creatividad, táctica y físico, pero lo que hace la diferencia siempre es el espíritu de equipo, presupuesto indispensable para afrontar las imprevisibles circunstancias del juego. Hacer equipo significa creer que para alcanzar grandes objetivos no se puede avanzar solo. Es necesario moverse juntos, tener la paciencia de combinar pases y movimientos para tejer estrategias de juego. También significa dejar espacio a los demás, salir rápidamente cuando es el propio turno y alentar a los compañeros. Ese es el espíritu de equipo. Finally, the third piece of advice. They can't spend so, their days alone, hostage left to a already. cell phone. I saw a bunch the of the glaciers of these leaders make me think of Canada's national support. Ago. Now, I don't know if they had somewhere How to go Canada to, but I did all just see Olympic a whole bunch medals. of people leave. How did Sarah and we're still going here. Get to score all those goals. So the question is, is will there be a big announcement? I'm not sure there's going to be. King Stay tuned. Amigos, caminen hacia el alto, vayan cada día hacia la luz y hagan equipo. Y hagan todo esto en vuestra cultura, en el hermosísimo lenguaje y longitud. Les deseo que escuchando a los ancianos y recurriendo a la riqueza de vuestras tradiciones y de vuestra libertad, abracen el Evangelio custodiado y transmitido por sus antepasados y que encuentren el rostro y no de Jesucristo. Los bendigo de corazón y les digo, Bujanamien. The Inuk face of Jesus Christ. I bless you from my heart. And to all of you, I say, we are not me. Ino katika kayo sigit si piso na gete. Kau mamo katarlose ang marope katarlose. Tana inuktut o kau sa inukse inuktitong na atog lugo. 
ile kursisi ato katta lugu ammaro nereung nep tuk saya katang nerlu nara katang lu si inu kat inu tokang nik innang nik ammaro ile kursisi ninga tut piu sisi ni tamak ko ato lugu ammaro nang menak isu maksukun nak ni ato me lugu ammaro tak ko Kus pili, si buni si buni sininga si mayut, tigurugit amaro takurugo inyo kina nga na na Jesus si sa imakti pasi o matine amaro ilu ilisinure ma pokapunga koyan nami. But deliver us from you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Who made the heaven and the earth. Our help is the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit.
That's it, folks. So it remains to be seen how Pope Francis's words fall upon the ears, hearts, and minds of Ikaluit Mute, Nunavu Mute, Inuit. There seem to be some good feelings in the audience, especially at the end. People telling the Pope that they loved him. Nice comment on the end there. The Enoch face of God. That's different. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's it. And curious to see, curious to see how people feel. Today was about helping people heal, and we will find out if healing has begun. So if I were to recap, I noticed a lot of high-profile Inuit officials, for lack of a better term, leaving, I wouldn't say early on, but leaving with at least 20 minutes left if I had to guesstimate so you know part of you could interpret that as they were done and they heard enough <laughs> and they weren't hearing what they wanted to hear but I don't really know that to be true but it was noticeable at a certain point in Pope Francis's talk that people, many elders, got up and left. So I don't know that that was caught on the TV. And I don't know what's going on with those individuals or if there was something going on that they were trying to get to. The whole visit did go late. I was trying to catch the plane coming in, but it was late and I had to it down here so I didn't catch the Pope mobile plane coming. I'm gonna try and get home and film the plane leaving. At a minimum, that would be nice. So I'm gonna go. And... Oh, hey. oh, hey.